Does she want to go for a walk? I bet she wants to go for a walk. Do you, do you just want to stand there and tilt your head all over the place? Stella, does she, does she want to go for a walk? <laughs> Do you want to go for a whole walk? <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. We'll get your little leash out, and we'll go around the neighborhood. So I'm looking at the paint colors again for the house, and I really am thinking about doing, like, a white color like this for the majority of the, like, walls. So, like, that wall, that wall, not that wall. I'll tell you what that wall is going to be in a second, but like that wall and that wall and like all the bedrooms. Okay. So, but like this color, but maybe a little bit lighter, but see how it's on the warmer side of white. That's okay. So something like that. And then now here's what I want to do for the, like the, the bedroom wall. So the back wall in the bedroom, I'm thinking like this green, like a dark green, very, very natural looking on that one wall in the bedroom that the bed's on. Then for the splash of color out here, like a charcoal color, maybe even darker than that, like a, like a charcoal, almost black for just that indentation there. Okay. And then the rest of it would be like a, like a pink color pink kind of like see not even like that that's too pink something with a, maybe a little bit of gray in it so that it is muted just a smidge and in fact I think there might be yeah I don't know if it's in here no I was thinking there might have been actually that color there is kind of nice this kind of dusty pink something like that it's not as brash and alarming. That's, I think, that other pink. Well, yeah, yeah, maybe somewhere down in here where it gets a little bit softer and more muted. It's a little bit more upscale and not as, not as loud. And that will be good for this, for the color in this one big space here. Yeah. And then as far as like any of the other rooms, I'm not looking at doing crazy colors or anything. I think just keeping a nice neutral palette of the, the crisp white and then, you know, it, it's just more refreshing. The couches are nice big splashes of color. The rug is kind of an ivory tone with bits of color in it, kind of pulls that all together. Um, so I, it's gonna look really good together. I just know it's going to. So that it's, it's really, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. But we're gonna go to the, oh, Stella, you're adorable. You're just lovely. We're gonna go to the paint store. So I'll take this along, or you know what? I don't even need these. That that was just for our, ourselves. I will look at the paint colors there. Okay, let's head into Lowe's to see what kind of paint we can get today. So let's choose the white color first. Immediately I'm drawn to this one, Pale Bloom. Okay, some of these are gonna go a little bit yellower and I don't want yellow, like an, a yellow undertone. Ivory Dust is nice too. So you can see the difference between those two by themselves. Hmm. I'm leaning on the pale bloom still. There's a little bit more cream or gray in the ivory dust. That's what I'm thinking so far. What's this one? December Starlight. Looks like there's a blue undertone to that one too, slightly, and maybe a slightly uh, greenish blue. That one's a slightly red undertone. Snow Cap. Let's look at these together. So we've got Snow Cap. There's that one. <laughs> now this is the epitome of somebody like splitting hairs, right? And you're just like, what in the world? They all look the same. Um, okay, I'm still leaning on Pale Bloom. That's where I, my eye went first. And that means it's like it's a good one. So we're <laughs> Pale Bloom. You know what? And that Pale Bloom has a little bit of a pink undertone to it. So a warmer pink tone. That's gonna be good. I like that. It's gonna draw out some of the warmth of the wood. Okay, now let's also do the green color. The green should be pretty easy to choose for the bedroom. Uh, well, I say that, but you never know. Okay, so some of these are just gonna be obviously no. These are a no. These are a no. We need to get down here where they're deeper. So this one here, 
lime twist. That's a little bit too bright. Here, let's get down an eye level so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, four leaf clover. Maybe, the one behind it looks a little bit better. Poker green. See, now I'm gonna think about poker whenever I see that color. Vegas green. That's such a dumb name. Stop naming them things like that. Vegas, no, don't wanna have Vegas in my house. It's like French olive. Oh, that sounds pretty. French olive, slightly muted. I would like it still deeper yet though. That's still a little too bright. So, let's go up here. What is this color? Deep mint. That's nice. Still would like it a little deeper. Where, I said this, I thought this was gonna be the easy color too. Where is the greens that I want? For some reason, I'm not happy with a lot of these. Huh. French olive, but I'd like it a little deeper. Okay, let's just pay no attention to the names and just go with this one here. That's French olive as well. I went there again. That one has too much blue in it. That one has too much blue in it. I think all these have blue undertones. Nah. What is this one? That's disgusting. No. What are these up here? These definitely have blue in them. Ugh. Let's just put this in the cart for now and we'll come back to the green idea. All right, we're looking at the pink tone now. So, something like this. Thistle Field is really pretty. It has a gray muted tone to it. It still has some color though. That I do like. Let's look to see if we can find something else that may be better. This one over here, Edwardian Rose. Okay, that one is a little bit more of a classic tone. Slightly more muted and deeper. I am leaning on that one. This one starts to look a little bit more like bubble gum whenever you put it next to it. I mean, it's not, that's an exaggeration, but the Edwardian Rose, a little bit more clean, classic. This green I'm still not liking. I need something more classic in the green. I, uh, just something more, I don't know, better, just better. But I don't like these greens. We might have to go across the uh, way to the other color swatches. Okay, right here, my eye went straight there to the, this rainforest color. Rainforest canopy. That is a little bit nicer. You can see them compared together. It's deeper. It's deeper, it's richer, better, stronger. Deeper, richer. It's a beautiful color combination. They're not gonna be in the same room, but same house. Let me get one more swatch because there's this daring jade next to it. And I'm just curious what it looks like. No, no, definitely not. Too much blue in there. Too much blue. Oh, they have a lot more whites over here. Oh, I'm, we're gonna double check my white. Fundamental white, that looks pretty. Fundamental, is that the same color? No, this has a little bit more, oh boy, that's very close. Eh, eh, hmm. I like it. I I might. I'm trying to decide which one I like more. Let's keep. Let's grab a couple more swatches. Iconic white, pure white, alabaster, white batten. Oh boy, some of these are splitting hairs, aren't they? I think fundamental white might be a little too bright. I'm thinking this iconic white is really pretty. The pale bloom that we initially found might have just a too like a smidge too much pink undertone in it. So I'm leaning on the iconic white. So that's the iconic white, that's the new colors. This is the other one. You can see it's, yeah. That looks kind of nice. Here's the fundamental. <laughs> oh boy, let's see, let's put fundamental back. Fundamental. Oxford white. What's white core? You know what? That white core is pretty. It even has a tiny bit less pink. You can see the tones there. White core, a little bit more neutral even. 
I like that one. All right, I made a slight change. So that's what we had before, but I was looking at that green and I just thought it looked a little bit too, I don't know, cartoony, cart it's just too bright. So I said I need something a little bit more muted and then I found Tee Shot. And that one feels very good. There's a slight um, gray, a slight muted tone underneath it, very similar to the pink. It's, it's, these work very well together, all of these. So, tee shot it is. Rainforest was just a little bit too vibrant. This coriander was too dull. That's disgusting. Well, it's actually not, it's not disgusting. It's just not what I want. And so, that's better. So, um, I'm gonna put these back, all what are all those, and I'm I'm liking this. This is this is very it's very pretty. I almost forgot about the charcoal color. So this noir is very fitting. I am leaning on this one. Some of these are just too too gray, too light. Uh so and then like these down here are gonna be a mixture of like a green undertone and it's more apparent, slightly blue as well. Yeah, those are not dark enough. I wanted something a little bit more neutral. So this is pretty dark and neutral for the TV area. Let's put them together. So it's really that these three colors are going to be in the same room together. I think that's really pretty, those three. Yeah, sure do. Okay, we're going to need the most of this white core. That's gonna be the core. <laughs> That's gonna be the core color. And then maybe a gallon, I think a gallon of each of the rest of these would do it. So the question is how many gallons of this, if it's gonna go in all the in all the rooms, essentially. I don't know. Okay, I'm thinking that what I need to do is five gallons of the white and then one gallon each of the other colors. And I'm looking at the Valspar Ultra and an eggshell. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so I guess I go tell them that and they'll pull the right base because I think there's different bases unless that's not true with this brand. I know that must be tent. Oh, base C, okay. Yeah, so I'll let them pull it. I'm usually wrong if I try to guess which, which bucket to pull. This'll do, right? One, two, three, I have four colors though. Oh, so I need two, two sets of them. They only have one package. I could use a good brush. Getting the angled one is really ideal for cutting in those edges for nice crisp lines. So I got that. I went ahead and just got these other ones which are not as thick with the nap but that's all right for for instance you know the one wall that needs to be green uh, you know that's probably gonna need two coats anyway so I'll just use the cheaper one and then use the, the slightly thicker one for instance like all the white that needs to be done so that we can get it in one coat and then uh, yeah that'll help help do that okay so that's pretty much all i need and then she's mixing up the paint now these are the blind tier that i'm looking at for the bedroom it's just something that i see every day so i, I want to go ahead and do this now this is a lot cheaper than the, than the louvered style or the i'm um, not louvered the uh you know the style the other one because it's it doesn't it doesn't have like a frame and everything so this one is kind of like a mini blind except it's two inch instead of one inch looks a little bit more premium so it's 105 and I would be getting two of them looks like they cut down to uh, 54 and uh, my, the exact opening is 109 so I'm not sure you'd need two of these but if that would be if you would uh, t trim it to 54 or like somewhere around 55, I don't know. But that's a question for the lowest people. Looks like they're ready for us. We're gonna go back and check on the, uh, on the blinds. He's cutting down both of those. So that's really exciting. We're getting the blinds today. Got my sticks and everything. She got us all set up. So these are the, th the three gallons. And then the five gallon bucket below that on the ground, kind of make room for it. We'll get that five gallon put in here too, right down there. He's down there cutting the other blind. It's so exciting. Oh, they have, I didn't know they had chairs here. Oh, 
I didn't even realize. And they have these little side tables. That's cute. This is, I like this one. If that was in white, that'd be really cool. Or paint it like a fun color. I like the texture on that and this little handle. And then look down here, I like these. That's nice. I, I enjoy that one a lot. Oh, look there, they have it in like a light gray color too. This is the kind of thing, like paint that in a fun color, like your accent color, and that'd be really nice. Any color, pink, yellow, it's so cool. All right, office chair. Wow, I have home accents too. All right, I've got my, yes, I'm pushing the cart backwards. I've got my blinds and my paint. And he's gonna knock 10, well, he's gonna have them knock 10% off of the one box because it was already open and it was uh, already cut down. I mean, they did trim a tiny bit off of that one to make it work, but yeah, so 10% off of the one box. That's like, what is that, like $10? It's oh, yeah. pretty nice. Okay, let's make our way downtown. Making our way downtown. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, they're getting doors. That's exciting. New doors. The new microwave arrived this morning. It's a big box. FedEx dropped it off. Look at that beautiful microwave. Once these cabinets are wide, it's just gonna look so nice. I mean, it already does. That is a really sharp looking microwave. The oven is currently on. It's doing like a cleaning cycle. I'm really not convinced yet what I want to do about the stove because if you see the microwave is bright and then that one's kind of dull. So I'm thinking, hmm, I could sell that, you know, clean it up nicely, sell it for maybe two or 300 and then get a new one. Or I could wait and I, I'm thinking about just waiting until after the cabinets are all painted, but like the refrigerator's black. And I always thought it'd be neat to maybe do like a vinyl wrap. So it's a perfectly good refrigerator. And so they sell like vinyl wrap. It's similar to what you'd put on a car, like a car wrap, but it's uh, or sign vinyl. And it comes in a roll and you can stick it over stuff like metal and things like that. So it could be neat. You could do like a pink or a mint green or a light blue. And it would just kind of have like a moment over there in the corner. I did show this kind of in the store, but it has all of these little buttons. It has the sensor microwave. I learned what that meant. So it has something to do with water content in the food so it doesn't dry it out too much, which is neat. And then there's a convection oven in it. You can do roast and you could air fry. I've never had an air fryer, so look at that and it's metal inside, which is awesome because you know those white ones, over time the white ones inside, they like will start to even peel. The finish will peel, it'll stain, it'll get kind of yellowy. But that, my oh my, that's good looking. So yeah, it's a microwave too. Microwave and air fryer and convection. And there's my little stove, self-cleaning itself. Ooh boy, so for lunch today I'm having the purple carrot meatball marinara. Uh, the other one that I had in the last vlog was really, really good. I'm gonna get these again. You can see just how green those beans are. Or I mean the green beans. <laughs> the green beans are green. Look at that. Ooh, it's steaming it up. Stella would love it so much. All she gets is her little blue, whatever it's called. Blue, healthy dog, old person food. <sighs> That's so good. Mmm, look at them balls. All right, I just got done dropping off the packages. I'm at the back dock here at the post office. Although I do have to go up front and get the uh, P.O. Box content. So let's go do that. Okay. Ooh. Shoot. That was kind of loud. Got a package in here and a key, number 12. Okay, number 12 down here. Remember, we got to use this, this one, not the other one. There's two packages in here. Fragile, 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 fragile. Oh. This looks like a collar. I don't know if it'll fit. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, it's, oh wow. It's engraved, or it's etched with Stella. Oh my gosh, that is really pretty. Stella, she wagging her tail like she's gonna eat it. I know, you would love it if it was an edible collar. But that wouldn't go very well. 
Oh, that's really pretty. She's like a little bride. She looks like a sweet little lace bride, like a garter belt for your neck. Oh, Stella, imagine you, she really thinks that she's gonna eat this. Well, we'll put it on in a little bit, okay? You won't be able to eat it. Oh, I actually, the thing is, I don't know who sent this. If you wanna put it in the comment section below, just let me know who you are, but thanks so much. She has an engraved collar. Oh, look at these. They're like little plate platter things. Palm Beach, Honolulu, Miami, Bermuda. Oh, that's really pretty. And there's two of them. They're made of like a melamine type, like a melamine, mel melamine, melamine. Vicky Van Gogh. Vicky Van Gogh. What a name. Thanks so much. Those are fun plates though. Really they are. Those are lovely though. Yes, indeed. Okay, the last package is right here. Let's see what we got here. It says it's from Hooked on Pickin'. Like Hooked on Phonics, which I tried. Not recently. <laughs> Although, sometimes I wonder. Whenever I was little, a little one, it wasn't my decision. Paper. We've got a flamingo situation in this thing. Should it make noise? Is it a chime? We've got, it's a bell. I see a dingle dangle. Dingle dangle. It's like in, when you're in school, ding, ding, ding. What is it? Ding, 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 or something. It wasn't in my school. Sometimes it's in movies. Warning, to avoid danger of suffocation, keep the, what a lovely note. Do you have a note that you wrote? No, probably not. Okay, I'm opening it up. Look at that spring. Isn't that a fun flamingo? It has its dingle dangle down there and it's flying in the air. Like I just don't care, and the umbrella. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> and it bounces too. That's nice, so thanks so much. Hooked on picking.